Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your second reading of the day. And the second card is there I was surrounded and I feel that you're surrounded by ideas. Your magic is that either you will be surrounded by ideas or you have the ability to surround yourself with ideas. What keeps coming back in though is not only just a magician but this comes from a, a place of, of being very receptive spiritually uh, to higher self and to listening to your dreams and suddenly opening up the door and where you stood alone you now stand with others and you also stand with a multitude of ideas that is coming in for you and that is really what I'm feeling when I look at this we had flex, flex your risk muscle telling you to take a chance on life to understand that um, failures are chances at wisdom and also that moving your body or even your energetic body makes you feel empowered, cleanses you, and makes you stronger. Okay, everything is about movement forward, especially when, I don't know, I feel, like I said, this queen in the last couple of days, I've seen this cup hidden behind some, some bars um, underneath her. It's like blocking the heart chakra or protecting it, maybe not blocking it, but protecting it, which is basically the same thing, from possible pain, hurt, I don't know, maybe there's something in, in the past and you still don't trust yourself to. It's easier to stay in what you know than to move into um, what you don't. So we have two that come in. This one, when I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me and move me, and, mo and movements will form. Again, with the movement, when I move my body, and oh, oh, well, well, what, what, Pisces, what the heck? Oh, okay, all right, today I consciously choose to think loving thoughts, take compassionate actions, and bring for peaceful energy. Okay, so this is like telling you that um, even though you're trying to make something happen, and it might feel like a great big risk, it doesn't mean that you can't find peace within your heart. Um, the High Priestess kept coming through to me before I did this reading, and I feel like she's saying, um, don't worry about it. Just... Um, if you're quiet and you listen to yourself, you're going to find a lot of peace and contentment within your heart and your soul. So don't be so afraid to move forward thinking that, you know, things are just going to shake and rumble around you immediately because you've decided to take a different road. It might not be that scary or that... Um, uh, it might not be as bad as you think. It's almost like saying that your mind is going to make it out much worse than it is. See the yellow and red flag. It's almost like, you know, I'm, I'm cautious and almost stopping in the distance. But there's a blue flag wanting to communicate. This queen is sending me all kinds of feels, this one right here um, ready for a fight but she's more pondering than fighting her swords at her side it's not unsheathed she's very um, yeah is it unsheathed no it's in the sheath you know it's she's in our peaceful space she's not in a space of defending herself it's like I'm open but worried I'm open but scared okay not scared just cautious I can't believe these flowers. This is so amazing, Pisces. All of this is so amazing. You're surrounded by flowers, most certainly. You're surrounded by the beautiful scent, life. Life is beckoning you right now. It's beckoning you to come in and join. Come in. Come join. You know, we'll help you will definitely help you. Okay. Let's pull out some tarot.
the Six of Cups. Joy, again. Childlike joy is my Six of Cups. When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me. Surrounded. Surround. Surrounded. Surround. Support will surround me and movements will form. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't, hadn't even seen the word surround you guys. Oh my good. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they synchronistic? Progress. Yes, progress will be uh, coming in. But in this case, it almost feels like it's in this way she was looking up and this way she's looking down. It's almost like a nesting, okay? It's like cooking something up. I like that. The Page of Wands. Communicate. I was talking about that. Communication. New communication. New situations. Good news. It's good news. It's, it's coming in. And again, childlike, fun, play, happiness. Not all of this needs to be a burden to you. Not all of this needs to feel bad. Doing something new doesn't have to be bad. Doesn't need to feel bad. The King of Swords. Seeing above. very of the mind. It's not the queen, it's the king. The king is able to go up one level, take the action to see what's there, right? The queen's very, str very strong intellectually, um, but she's absorbed a lot because that's what we do, we absorb the feminine energy. The male energy is about action. So now you're taking one step above the next step, like the five, six, seven, eight. This is queen, then king, you are now flying above to see, okay, well, maybe there's something more to this. Maybe I can take a chance. Maybe I can see the bigger picture. Maybe it's not protection that I'm looking for. Maybe it's wisdom that I need at this point in my life. The tower, but in reverse. Hmm, the Queen of Hearts. I feel like that's the Empress, the creativity. Let me see though. In this card. I always I I, I second guess myself all the time, Pisces, even now. Yep, it's the Empress, of course. I should just go, I know. Right? Why do we do that? Why do we always constantly second guess ourselves? <laughs> and the Queen of Hearts. So we've officially had all the Queens out today, Pisces. Um, yeah. We had all the Queens out today. She's very receptive. The tower, the shake-up, already happened. It's already happened. It's already been here. Okay? Either, it either happens... I, I was speaking about that this week. It either comes up on you. Sometimes you've invited it. You didn't even realize you did because you're so miserable that the tower says, right, you're miserable. Let me help you with that. Let me shake things up. And sometimes you bring it down yourself because you've just had enough. But this has already all happened. Right now, you're just trying to walk into the pieces. What can I create with what's left? How can I go inside of myself and see that these pieces were very much needed to bring that um, 
that, that sense of creation out. Okay? That dreamer to come and do things. The softness to return. I like that joy, brilliant ideas, support, compassion to your actions, peaceful energy. That's all this right here. The Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. You have to remember that this beautiful energy that you're bringing in, it's all bringing in the fire energy too, okay? Remember, there is fire energy coming in. It's going to be here tomorrow. We have the full moon in Sagittarius telling you, take that fire and make it and turn it into something. Okay, be inspired by all the efforts that you're making right now. Yep. So, three and six, beautiful numbers, right? And we have six, oh, six, six, six. <laughs> I always laugh at that because of the obvious. When I was young, I was taught, hmm, yeah. Um... And if it's the devil, well, he has something to teach you as well. He has to teach you that you need to take away the restrictions. The thing about the sixes is that when you put them together, the three and the six, the three and the six, the three and the six, you have nine. Nines coming in again, Pisces, in abundance. Nine is a resonance of spirit. It's the beautiful resonance of spirit. It's the only number that can be only, you know, within itself. And if you, if you look up the magic of 369, you'll know this. I love this absolutely wholeheartedly. Because these last two cards are talking about your personal balance, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles, which is the help of spirit. This is my card of spirit. As a reader, when it comes out, it means that you have spirit help. Always. Always here. Always spirit help. You can... It, it, this is a a very important time in your life, even if spirit isn't communicating with you, if you're asking questions and they simply won't give you answers. They're just telling you that you have to do this work. Okay? I did speak about that at the beginning of the week. It isn't because they have left you. They have not left you. They never leave you. They will always be with you. Always be with you. But sometimes you want an answer that they cannot give. Because at this point, you need to do the work. They can't give you cheat sheets. They can't give you scorecards. They can't give you nothing. Their, um, the help they provide is by letting you do the work that you were meant to do when you decided to come here. So when you're feeling like, oh, they've abandoned me. I keep asking and I get no answer. Is because it's time for you to, um, you know, hike up the socks and um, put on your shoes and pick up the tools you need and do the work. It's their answer is you have to take it now. You have to do it now. You have to go within yourself, find the answers that you have been um that you have been accumulating over time and you need to move forward with that action now. They can't help you, they can't do it for you, they can't give you the answers. As much as it is fun to get cheat sheets and a, a, a book full of answers, at one point you've got to create your own book and you have to fill it with the knowledge that you have. And if they're not giving you answers, it's because you most definitely have everything that you need to do this. It's already within you. They've already given it to you. Okay? Don't be afraid of risk. With risk comes the beautiful flavor and savor of living a life well lived. It doesn't need to be huge risk. Just enough 
so that you are traveling a path that will give you more as you go along, so that you don't stagnate where you are. Okay? So, you, will, you are able to surround yourself with so much more right now, and this is apparent with the flowers. This is so, like, brightly um, showing here. All these flowers, she's holding flowers. These cups are filled with flowers. You just keep getting flowers upon flowers. Even this table is covered in flowers, Pisces. You have it within you. It is with you to do this. Just keep moving. Keep moving forward. Enjoy. Knowing that the hardest part is done. Okay? The tower has crumbled, you've crumpled it. Whatever's happened, it's happened. You know within your heart, even if you haven't um, left a job or left a relationship, within yourself, it's already been resolved. You already know that there's an end that happened. It's already happened. Okay? Now's the time to look for the ideas, to be inspired by something new. To find your sense, your center. Knowing that Spirit guides are with you, regardless of if they're not shouting the answers at you. The answer is, you are doing, you need to do the work. You need to do this. I keep asking this week if... <laughs> I told you at the beginning of the week, I kept asking my cards, if, are you talking to me yet? And they go, no, we're not. <laughs> they're not. They're saying, we're not talking to you yet. But they are. They talk here. They're just not. <laughs> it's the point they're trying to make, right? So look above. You fly above. You go find those answers. And you be receptive to them when you see them. Understand what they're trying to say. Gratitude and joy. This is the four. It's this ability that you crave. It's also the four of the emperor card. It's the beautiful stability that's within you. And it will come. There, I, I still feel that these are your cards of this is the answer. This is the secret here. I choose to think loving thoughts, take compassionate actions, and bring forth peaceful living. And there I was surrounded. When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me, and movement will form. In other words, your choices will be more. You will be surrounded by people just like you, as I said right at the beginning of these readings. There's so much coming in. There's such abundance here, Pisces. Regardless of what you're feeling or scared of not having or, or what's not coming in, there's so much more than you can see. And I feel, as I was saying, that even if you're not getting a lot of that now, the reason is, is that you have to bring it forward. You have to do it. You can't have anybody doing it for you. Just think of anything that's worth having in your life. Did you fight for it? Did you make it happen? Was it so sweet when it came to you? Was the journey like like warriors of before when they used to talk of their uh, great um they they're telling me they used to like tell their great stories of how they overcame. The journey itself was sweet and the success was wonderful. It's your time to go off and, and, and claim those victories. Do the things that you need to do to claim those victories, to have your stories of success and glory. It's your turn. Wow, it's very, it's very warrior-like. All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go with this. I hope that you've enjoyed your day of magic. This morning was shorter and today, well, more. You never know about these things. I thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you so much love. And I know you've got this. Yeah, you do. Whether it's uh, transplanting a new flower or, um, or becoming CEO of a company. Whatever you strive to do, do it with all of your, your beautiful self um, shining brightly for everybody to see. Do it in joy. Do it in happiness. And take the risk. Take good care of yourself. I will see you tomorrow. 
we're going to round this all up. Um, love, light, and blessings as always. Take care. Bye for now.